Hello everyone. Today I'm going to rebuild a merry-go-round and you are invited to watch. This merry-go-round came from the Catholic Church, School, and Convent that was located in Ackley, Iowa. I don't know exactly when, but uh, that's where it came from. It's been rebuilt a couple times with a wooden floor and my friend has asked me to rebuild it again with the metal floor. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to replace the floor with 11 gauge diamond plates. You step into the shop, I'll show you what we got going on in there. Okay, here we have two sheets, six foot by 12 foot of diamond plate, 11 gauge. This way, there will only be one seam on the project. I laid it out. The first thing I did was find the di diameter of the, the uh, merry-go-round, and then right in the middle, I put a nail. Perhaps you've noticed on the end of tape measures, there is a little slot always on the end of the tape measure. You see that? The purpose of that is for drawing out circles. You just put a nail, if you're a carpenter, you hammer a nail right in the center, you hook your tape measure on it, and then you can make the radius. I welded a nail right in the center, and then I did my radius. Typically with diamond plate, you turn it upside down and do your layout, so you're not dealing with the, the bumps, but since I don't have an overhead crane and I just turned things over with forklifts, it was easier and safer to do the layout on the, the diamond side. Once I did my circle, I also did the inside circle that I'm gonna cut out, plus I divided the steel into eight segments, so that I know right where to put each of the underside members. So now the next step of the job will be I will cut the outside diameter, I will cut the inside diameter, I will take the two parts apart and set them aside, I'll bring the merry-go-round into the shop prepare it, and then I'll place one side and then the other side. making progress on our merry-go-round. We have the plate cut to size, the diamond plate. I've placed the merry-go-round up on my workbench. It's always nice to work on a flat level surface. I've taken the T's that hold up the floor and I've set them at the right height on both sides and I'm putting the outer edge of our merry-go-round slightly elevated from the center. You're always fighting gravity, so when you fabricate something like this, you want to help yourself out by going a little above level. One problem that has arisen is 
the merry-go-round had a wooden floor here and they put these little tabs onto the pipe and it was bolted to the floor somehow. I don't know exactly how it was. Well, my floor is going to be quite a bit below that. And so to solve that problem, I've cut these off. If you look at this one, I've cut them off. And then once I get the plate in here, I'll slide these down to the floor, weld it to the floor, and then weld it up on the top. That should look pretty nice. So now these individual railings that a child grabs onto, I've cut them off of the tees. I'll slide the plate in and I have my plate marked where each one of these tees should go since they're simply bolted on. And then I'll be able to locate them, weld it to the plate, place the railing into place, and get it welded. We've got the first half put in, and it matched up very nicely on the first two rails coming out. Now we've twisted the merry-go-round to bring the next rail. Remember, it's made into eight segments. Now we've moved one of the segments over and we've set it on our jig so that each section is at the right height in relationship to the pivot point. Now the, the railings that the children hold on to that I had to cut off to get this plate in, now that I've slid it over on top of our jig, now I'll, I'll weld the plate to this bottom member and attach the handrails to it. And remember our little problem we had. I just made these pipes that fit right over the top one. I'll bring those down and I'll be able to attack it to our plate. Won't that look nice? So I'll get this one finished and then I have to do the other two for this half plate and then I'll put the other plate into place. Okay, I got the plate in and I have each of the segments divided into eight equal pieces. I've got the under member right in the right place. Now you'll see I am putting uh, a two inch by one eighth inch flat bar all the way around it. We'll weld it and get it smoothed out so we have a nice edge. And that, then the handrails, I'll get them all level and attached. And it's an interesting design, this merry-go-round. You see these round bars, they are the, uh, the strength that keeps everything in, in their right place. So I'll keep going on this edge and get it cleaned up and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, as you can see, I put the lip on all the way around. I welded it, I welded the railing down Remember, they had the little plates on it. I solved that problem by finding a piece of pipe that slides right over this. Then I put the pipe up here. Then I brought it down. Once we placed it to the right elevation and made a nice weld, I welded the flat bar all the way around. Then I went over it. As you can see, if you look closely, how nice and smooth it is. You know, playground equipment, children will be playing upon it, so there can't be any sharp edges, so I've given everything the hand test. I can slide my hand on it without hitting any sharp spots. 
So now I think it's uh, just about ready for painting. And it should last with a good coat of paint. It should last uh, the next hundred years. I hope you enjoyed watching, making this thing. Okay, bye.